It's Dub Life Every Sunday afternoon It's Dub Life Natalie and Kaya too If you ride the horse Make sure you squeeze it tight It's Dub Life Tonight Safety Hey Kaya What you got working with there? You look blinded by the light Ooh You sing I'm blinded by the light. Uh, welcome to Life of the Dubs. Uh, it's a Friday morning. Full break for Kaya. It is. Um, we're going to breakfast, lunch, something. We're going to eat. We're going to go to the Jacks, see what they're working with. Oh. And then we may uh, swing by and get something else. Um, it will be a fair amount of Kaya and I in this video. We will not have a vehicle, unfortunately, for a good chunk of it. Uh, Natalie's car is getting some recall work done and some various things. And uh, she actually is going to visit Victoria today. Uh, Victoria, this would be the time normally that we would be going to Myrtle Beach for a while. Uh, but we have with the guard and uh, we got the big, big game coming up next week. That's yeah! important. And a lot of stuff like that. So we are not able to make it to uh, Myrtle Beach vacation this year. We're going to crush you other team that I don't know if I can say on camera. No, don't want to say that one on camera, but we're going to crush team. that other I'm team. Gonna, we're going to crush you guys. Yes. Um, so uh, we're going to watch Rose for a couple weeks, which will probably make for quite an interesting next two episodes of Life of the Dubs with two, two dogs. Uh, but um, so Natalie has to take this car, but so we're going to run around and enjoy some car freedom for an hour yes. first. And uh, we're going to eat. Uh, we are three episodes away from the five-year anniversary, Woo! Uh, including this one. So two more after this Woo! of uh, every Sunday. I do have some toys to open. There are video games that are happening. Uh, we did eat at uh, Donji Korean. I don't know that yes! I've ever shown that on a video because it's often date night for Natalie or when we're after church or then we took Kai out for date night last night. Um, so I might put a picture here of our table of food. It's so good. It's a Korean fusion place. I have leftovers from there. I get to you eat do. Today. You have lunch udon. This makes me so excited. So they have like ramen and udon and and like sushi and those kinds of things. But then also a lot of really interesting. It's like soul food Korean fusion. They have chicken that is really really good. I ate something with an egg on top of rice. It was, it was good. um. Omu rice. Omu rice. It's fried rice with an omelet on top. It was good. We had rice balls. Yeah, there um, were like these things where it was fried rice mixed with beef bulgogi in little bowls. Oh, yes. And then they were like fried, so they had this really crispy shell on It was like risotto balls, but Asian style. Those were good. So we did that yesterday. I didn't film that. Um, but I don't know. So I'm starting the video because I have Kaya. We're doing something. We're going to jack it over here. We're going to get some food. And then we may swing by and get a little fall treat because she's got her fall sweater on looking pretty. The sweater season has started. It I'm has. so excited. We it love sweaters. So I still think we may have just a tad more sunny day, but we're uh, very close to Ugg boots and sweaters. My school feels like sweater weather. Are you excited for Ugg boots with, with sweaters? Ugg yeah, you have Ugg boots. I do have Ugg boots. Yeah, you got to wear like the black leggings that are tucked into the Ugg boots and then like a big old oversized sweater. That's what girls do in the South. Sweater, sweaters and Ugg boots. Can I do minus the leggings? Oh, you're just going to go just a sweater and like naked? No, 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 Absolutely no, no, not. No. That's a no, no. Jax. Yeah. You think it's going to be lunch or breakfast or both? Hopefully both. Oh, you're going to eat a little bit of both. Piece of chicken, biscuit, and a beef stew. Looks like lunch is being served, and I bet back there is a tiny bit of bread. Yep, so I do think you can technically get both items right now. I got lunch, you got breakfast, and then we have like other stuff stuff for mom, you know, just multiple dessert. That's a breakfast dessert and a lunch dessert. It's gone crazy. It's gone crazy. I love you like biscuit and gravy. That's a cinnamon roll treating you. She's very excited. Mm, gooey. Yummy. I don't know where Kaya went. I don't know, I've lost her. Did she go to poop? What are you bringing? They throw it away. They don't want to leave they, the they, trash. They, 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 they do it for us. But, like, 
if they already took it all. There, you they, want them to have to go there back. is, there literally isn't a trash can. You have to go put it back or you have to take it with you. Well, there we go. When the little bit of a struggle, I don't know what's happening. She called me baby doll, though. The server called me baby doll. Ha <laughs> ha, the sachet. Did you enjoy your breakfast? Yes. You know what we haven't done in a video in a long time? What? Oh, safety. $4 pumpkins. $4 pumpkins. We're at Kroger. We're at Kroger to go to Starbucks. Do you want a Starbucks? <laughs> or you want you going to skip it? Are you gonna buy yourself a four dollar pumpkin? Can we get pumpkins? Yeah, I mean I get them. Regular price six dollars, but you have to scan the digital coupon on your Kroger phone app. Otherwise, it's six dollars. I think it's a little early for you to buy a pumpkin. You're not gonna do anything with it today, are you? It's an orange sparkler pumpkin. A pumpkin already has a Georgia G on it. What about these little guys? I hope there's not also six dollars. Oh, That'd be a ripoff if that was six dollars. These are the sparklers. Oh, so they are three dollars. Regular price. Oh no, sell, sell, sell. Hmm. Pumpkin forever. Celebrate an iconic favorite. Oh yeah, they have the spooky drinks here. Pumpkin white mocha, midnight creeper. For oh boy, that sounds delicious. Zombie brain latte. Ooh. I'm getting that midnight creeper frappuccino and a half price cup. And you're just gonna get a water? No. Oh, made our Starbucks order. We got Kaya some apple cider and some peeps. And I bought her a pumpkin. She doesn't know any of that yet, but that way she can have full time today. Mm -hmm. What you doing? I'm looking for my Who do you think those are for? Oh my! Here, you said you wanted to try it. Before you? Pumpkin, mocha, chocolate, zombie brain, drain. Give it to us, give it to us all the day long. Delicious? Yes! Alright, go get it. I bought you a large pumpkin. You have to pick out which large pumpkin you want. You gotta pick it out. Wait, where did I sit this one? Okay. You gotta hold it. You gotta hold it. You can pick it. And then I'll get it. You can just show me the one you want. Okay. Large pumpkin. Okay, are these the big ones? Yeah, yeah, I think you can just, yeah. Ones that are big. Choose wisely. Ooh, green pumpkin. What are you looking for here? What's your strategy? Uh, is it pretty? <laughs> huh? Uh, is it pretty? It's my strategy. That one's kind of pretty. Okay, okay. You can have some scratches on one surface if okay. you're going to carve it. Work, we're working on That's a big, big okay. one. I like, I like this one. The big like, pump one? Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's going to go to the Just walk around. <laughs> this is on. Now you're for sale. <laughs> no, I'm priced. $2.99. You like that one, but you don't like that it doesn't have a big stump. You like this, a little bit of a stump. I like some stem, yeah. No? That one? No, hang on. It's uh oh. Like, it's like knocking off one here, you know? You can go around the back side. Back. And there's a bunch over here by the, all this. Oh, well. Some of these maybe are a little, a little, little less touched. Okay. Hmm. A little less touched. Not liking that one. Well, I guess we'll get home. Well, maybe. Let me just. This could take a minute. So when we get home, I'll show you the pumpkin. You're interested in that pumpkin, huh? We got this one, the one that she kept going back to. You're interested in it, huh, buddy? It's a little bit later. I'm doing some work for a few hours. Hey, buddy. He's just hanging out. We were just outside playing. Had some things arrive. We'll look at. Um. Some of you probably remember we did a little sponsorship with Into the AM uh, for a collection video, and we appreciate them. I uh, did a little thing with them, got some clues, and we like their stuff. I, I see them the most on Anthony's Customs, 
Uh, he has them like once a month. They have a good coupon code. They often run like mystery shirts and stuff that are really cheap, um, like three, four bucks, five bucks. So we ordered a couple and we had a game come in. So I grabbed a couple mysteries for myself. I got this like, uh, I don't even know what that would be, an astronaut like in a wheat field in space. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. And that's kind of like an Asian Japanese temple. I don't know. They're pretty. I got Natalie this zip up, like a mystery zip up hoodie. This was like $4.99. Uh, just for, you know, like in the fire, or, you know, sitting by the fire, things like that, where you don't want to mess up a good one. And then this came out today. Kai doesn't even know this is here yet. I got this for her. It's her fall break, so she'd have a new game, even though she has plenty of games, but a new game to play on fall break. Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Dinner is ready. Announcing. From Living Room Show. Uh-oh. Let's see if that lures her downstairs to find her prize. And then these have come in recently from Target, I think. Not at a new dog. You told me where to get them. Crimson Viper. That's going to go on the display right away with the Cobra. And then Desert Commando Snake Eyes. We may have some other. It's been a hot and heavy G.I. Joe, um, like, really month. They put out, like, 20 figures quickly. They seem to do that, like, five first half of the year, 20 all at once. Uh, which is frustrating, but at least they're, you know, $20 price points if you get them through Target and not uh, $100 price points. Let's see if Kai comes downstairs. You think she's going to come downstairs, buddy? Maybe? You think so? No? But uh, definitely check out Into the M. We're not, we're not sponsored by them. We're just for that one video. We did a thing with them. Um, they're comfortable shirts. They got cool, unique designs and um, low cost. Uh, certainly we love, I mean, I'm wearing right now, obviously an Inya face shirt. We love Doug's shirts. They're incredibly high quality. They're also, you know, not the cheapest shirts. Um, but these things you can just get blown out from time to time. They come with stickers on the tags, which I think is cool. Well, let me see if I can get Kaya down here. Maybe she's coming now. It sounds like she's coming, Rufus. Are you in your jammas? <laughs> yeah, but I have a problem. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Look at the Peeps pumpkins. What's this? It's a fall present. Release day today, brand new Detective Pikachu returns. I haven't even heard about this. I know, it just came out. Today, literally today. I didn't know. I... You don't like Detective Pikachu? What is it's it? It's not your friend. Is it like a mystery? It's a like mystery? a Pokemon, like, yeah, try to solve it game. So it's like Ace Detective. Like yeah, but Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, That's with really Detective cool. Pikachu. Does that please you? Yeah. Not as much as the pumpkin. This is my, my friend. Yeah, what's his name? Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll deal with the pumpkin in a little while later. I guess you're sad about Pikachu. No, or Pikachu, I she doesn't choose you. We don't want to trail it. I'm what you might call a great detective. I live and work here. In Are you more excited now? Yes. It's voice acting. Yes. Yes. Do you think you will put that game in today? For a little while. I'm looking for leads on my missing partner. Poor Harry. I think she's happy with it. We actually just got Splatoon 3 which I know is an older game, but we got that uh, last week or two, and she and I have played it for a while one day, and then she's been playing it quite a bit. Um, Best Buy, there was, so there's a lot of Switch games coming out right now that we are interested in. Um, Switch is the system we play as a family, so like I'm playing Madden, new Madden right now on Xbox, uh, which is fine. That game, I mean, Madden feels like it is, they should just have Madden forever and just update the rosters. Because it doesn't feel like much changes in that game, really. And I stop buying them every year. Instead, and for, in fact, I stop buying them like, I get them like every three or four years. Plus I have Xbox Game Pass and usually by like January last year's Madden on. But you know, like I wanted to play during the season a little bit. So like I just won the Super Bowl, the Ravens. Um, and now maybe I'll try to play it with like a, a, a poor team and trying to win, I don't know. And then on PlayStation 5, I'm playing Sea of Stars. I have the PlayStation membership as well. When you have those memberships and like you can do some little tricks. So like Xbox just got rid of gold 
that the I, I gold member forever where you got like a couple free games every every month and you play online and now it's just game pass xbox game pass is tremendous i think it's in the world of streaming stuff if you're a video gamer it's the best because they gets what 20 25 bucks a month and you get access to hundreds of games including all of microsoft's um direct games on day one so the new halos starfield that just came out with day one um forza uh the new forza coming out is day one so you get a lot of stuff like that um and then Sony has a, a similar product, but they do not give you access to their games, like all their games. So like Horizon is on there, the new Horizon stuff. But like, I don't think Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man, whatever that game is called, Spider-Man 2, whatever it'll be called on PS5, um, will be there on day one. But anyway, you could do things like, so I had like three years of an Xbox Live Gold subscription that costs like $150 for a three year subscription. And then they converted that to Game Pass, which was worth like $700. So I've got several years before I'll have to start paying for Game Pass. And Sony did the same thing. They had some sort of uh, whatever Sony's $10 a month play online and you could get gift cards for like a year for 60 bucks or things like that. And they converted. So both of those I have several years before I have to start paying for again. I think those little tricks will go away on the next round. Um, and I may have to decide because most of what our family plays is Switch um, because we like the party games. We play Mario Party a fair amount, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, uh, things like that. Uh, I like the Nintendo first party. Obviously, we spent a lot of time with Tears of the Kingdom. Um, loved that game. It was tremendous. Uh, but I, I was – so the games that are coming out that we will be buying for Switch were like the new Pikmin um, this game, Detective Pikachu, Super Mario Wonder is about to come out. Uh, there's a new Sonic game about to come out, and, and Natalie's really into Sonic, so I get that on Switch. Uh, there's the Princess Peach game coming out in uh, like February, like right after Christmas. Mario RPG, a remaster or remake or whatever is about to come out. So there were a bunch of Switch games I had on pre-order already. And then I saw on Best Buy they had a membership, and I... You know, it's death by $9.99 a month or $49.99 a year at this point in the American economy. Uh, but the Best Buy membership was something like 50 bucks a year. And it gave you access to certain things. It gave you like cheaper shipping, kind of like a, a, a smaller version of Amazon Prime. But one of the things it gave you was buy two, get one free Switch games, including pre-orders. And so I was looking at my Switch. I'm like, oh, I've got like six Switch games on pre-order at $59.99 each. This is immediately saving me up 70 bucks because I'm going to get two $60 games for free and I only have to pay $50 to get it. So I did that. And so because of that buy two, get one free coupon, I've been taking advantage of it. Um, and we picked up like Splatoon recently, a game we didn't have in the library. Um, some of that stuff. So I, I tend to get the Nintendo IP. I want to get Kyle the Pokemon games as they come out because she's into that. Um, she actually has some more set aside for Christmas that she's not aware of. She hadn't got yet. Um, but, you know, and those things also hold their value. I tell you what, Pokemon games on Nintendo systems really hold their value really well. If you watch any of the video game channels, you'll see that those those things turn into to good money down the road. But then I, I'm really the only one. Natalie will play um, Xbox with me. We play some Minecraft together. Kyle will play Minecraft with me. I just think they're not, they don't, they've never really played the other systems. So they're not as comfortable turning them on, using them. Uh, Natalie actually played Halo with me for a while. Um... But predominantly, I play my sports type games on Xbox and I play other things on PlayStation. I don't know why that is. That's just kind of the way I've always been. I've always had both systems, or not always, but. Uh, so my video game lineage, we had Atari 26, so we were always like a system behind for like, until I was a like uh, early teenager. So we had Atari 2600 as the Nintendo came out. And my dad actually would play video games a fair amount with us at that time. You know, it's probably when he's like late 20s. And we had Atari 2600, and we had to play like Math Grand Prix, so we'd learn stuff. But eventually we get to play like Pitfall, things like that. Then probably at the second half of the, 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 the lineage of the Nintendo, we got the Nintendo. And then Super Nintendo we got pretty early. Um, that was a thing where Kimberly, my older sister and I, said this is all we want together for all our birthday, all our Christmas presents, everything put together. We want a Super Nintendo. And they got us that. That was like the present that year with Mario World. I think we had Mario World and Sim City. Those are the games we had to start with. What's up, man? You just tossed all the pillows off the couch. Come here. You want to say hi to those people? Come here. 
He's just right here. He's right here. You want to say hi? He just tossed all the pillows off the couch. Having a good old time. Uh, and then after the Super Nintendo, I was... See, I don't remember us owning a Nintendo 64 as a family. I remember getting a PlayStation for like Christmas in high school. And then sometime either borrowing Nintendo 64, playing it at a friend's house, and eventually I had one, but I think I had one after the GameCube was out. Because I played Mario 64. But I never played Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, which are Natalie's, you know, Ocarina of Time's her favorite game ever. And I never played those. So other than Mario 64 and like Mario Kart 64, I never played that system. Um, and GameCube basically haven't played anything on it. Had one that I had in my truck, you know, back in the day where you put a system and a TV and a video game system in your truck and I could do all that. I did that for myself, but that was just to show off for the girls, really. It's just a, just for ladies. Um, so I went to PlayStation and then I went to PlayStation 2. Never had Xbox. And then I bought PlayStation 3 as it came out when it was really expensive. And I wasn't even a 360 person, but 360, Xbox 360 became such a dominant system in that generation that eventually you had to get it to play with your friends because nobody had a PlayStation 3. But then I went back to PlayStation 4, more than Xbox One. So I've always been a PlayStation and Nintendo person first. Um, but like Kimber, like a lot of our friends have Xbox, and so I'd play online on Xbox for games like that. So like Payday, Payday 3 just came out. We played a lot of Payday 2 online on Xbox. The game's fun. Um... I had a Dreamcast. I was really fond of Dreamcast when that came out. So it's kind of my video game lineage. So what I do today is I probably spend the most time with Switch because of Mario games, uh, Zelda games, party games with the family, that kind of stuff. But I will play when Spider-Man comes out here in just a couple weeks. Um, play that, obviously, on PS5, only way you can play that. And then uh, for Xbox, I play Madden. Uh, I don't think I have anything pre-ordered for Xbox. In fact, the only non-Switch game pre-ordered is Spider-Man. Uh, that comes out. I love those for the first one in Miles. I 100 percented the. I got the platinum on both of those. I think I did not 100 percent Miles because you didn't have to do that to get platinum. I don't think Miles. I got every single trophy you could get in the first Spider-Man because I got platinum. But the Miles one had to do something just absurd that I was not willing to do. Like, beat the game in every challenge on every single difficulty. Like, each difficulty. So, beat it, like, four times. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't remember right. But, like, when Grand Theft Auto comes out, if that comes out, that, that I'll probably get on PlayStation. I probably won't get that on Xbox. Um, so, I don't know. Like, you know, but Xbox, I think the gamer tag and the achievements are also a higher level. On Xbox. So, I don't know. What video game systems do you play? So, it's, it's weird how I kind of bounce around them. Probably save me money if I just play on one. But so like Mortal Kombat, uh, the new Mortal Kombat 1 looks good. I do want that game. I would probably get it on Xbox. Why? Don't have a good answer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's like fighting games, sports games. I associate more with Xbox than PlayStation. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I sat down because I'm going to open these two toys up. The Crimson Viper and the Desert Snake Eyes. Both of these are general release. Um, I had them pre-order Big Bad but it canceled them. This one is showing up at Walmarts around here, but Amazon had it. I got it from Amazon. This one is showing up at Target's. Ordered it from Target. Shout out to Doodog Dog again. He uh, notified me these were out. And it has been a G.I. Joe deluge. So let me take a quick break. Let's open these things up. Break. Let's see. So G.I. Joe packaging, not the hardest to open. They just had the two little pieces of tape. I am interested to see what their new packaging. So, uh, you know, I'm sure if you're watching, I don't know though. I don't know. I, I probably have a, a decent audience that's not really heavy into the action figures anymore or are more into the the in, um, things like Mythic Legions or whatever, Animal Warriors, the, the more independent studios than Hasbro. I don't know. I'd be interested to see, like, is there anybody watching this right now that doesn't collect action figures at all that has found our channel and watches our channel because of the family vlog aspect and maybe slice of life and curiosity, but you're not a collector? I guess that's possible out there. I'd be interested to know. Or is everybody that watches it kind of come from the action figure community? The action figure community, which is in a weird place right now. There's so much nonsense, if I'm honest with you, going on with the action figure community. There's toys, we're playing with toys. Just people are silly. Um, G.I. Joe's putting out a lot, but there are a lot of repaints. But they also have had some new stuff, like the snow job that just came out. Had a lot of tremendous stuff. The trouble bubble with the Pella Viper, it's great. 
you know, I think a lot of people are, you know, whatever, tribalism, picking sides, because they are starting to do stuff that is similar to the things that Action Force and Valiverse coming out, especially like this desert thing, you know, in the way that uh, production runs, you know, this figure had to have been being made like over a year ago. And I don't, I don't know that Valiverse had announced desert stuff at that point. I don't know. Hey, Rufus. You know, but there's so much tribalism going on. I, I think that, that's why I continue to be the Four Horsemen will be my favorite toy company because they don't do any of that really, at least, you know, publicly. And I know some people may point out something different. And, you know, I know there's some specific things that have happened recently that people may call out, but at least publicly, things are friendly. Everybody gets along. And, uh, right now, they're doing a big reveal. Uh, if you're watching this, the pre-order probably went up yesterday, I think, for a new uh, Reinforcements, Wave 2. And they're letting uh, influencers reveal them all. So like my buddy Kent, Kent Poole got to reveal one, which I think is awesome. A lot of my friends, Curtis, Jesse, uh, The Amazing, uh, Toy Bro, and then some folks I don't know, like some other reviewers. So I got exposed to some new channels. So congratulations, uh, definitely, to the folks that got to, to review. Um, and... Uh, Reveal the new wave of uh, Mythic Legends. I think that's really cool. All right, so we've got Desert Commando Snake Eyes. I do like, I mean, he does look cool. He does look cool. And I think you could easily just army build this dude for Desert Troops, especially if you had some other uh, heads that would fit, which a lot would. Because I, I don't see this and just think Snake Eyes at all. I like the Browns. He's got a backpack. He's got... Uh, Kind of this machine gun, the clip. He's got a big sword, big brown sword. He's got this other kind of sword, katana maybe. Knife. He's got a pistol, and this is a, a silencer, I guess. Then the sheath for his sword, and a bandolier. Now, this guy. Is not going on display right now because I have no Joes on display, only Cobra. So he will unfortunately go into the punishment box at our punishment baggie and then into the punishment tub because it is not his time to be displayed. I am thinking about um, maybe moving some of the NECA. I, I still have a great most of my NECA Ninja Turtle stuff on display, uh, too much in my opinion. And so I'm thinking about maybe, because pretty soon I'm going to need more space for Cosmic Legions. And the current G.I. Joe display lives right beside the Cosmic Legions. But Cosmic Legions Wave 2 uh, is almost here. In fact, uh, Legions Con, as you're watching this, is just a few weeks away. And at Legions Con, uh, I believe Cosmic Legions Wave 2 will be there or will soon to be there or maybe has already shipped. It could be imminently shipping. Um... It's soon though, and I'm gonna need room for that. It's like five or six more figures. So see, bag it up, ready for when I need to pull him out and put him on display. I do save these little foot lockers. Why? No good answer, but I do. So uh, what I may do is, if the turtles are in the big glass cabinet that's in a different room that has a lot of space, so maybe I'll take a couple rows of turtles out and that way have more Joes on display. I don't know, I'm thinking about, thinking about changing it up. We got the Crimson Viper. I've loved the Crimsons. I want to get all the Crimson stuff on display. Viper, probably my favorite trooper. Uh, Natalie got me that first Viper that they had, the Cobra Island Viper. That was the first. Oh, this one does. This one actually has plastic tabs. So I wonder if this is the first path back toward plastic. These had been these uh, ropes, um, kind of cardboard twist tie ropes as recently as the one I just took out. So I wonder if this is, uh, they got approval to go back to plastic. And so right away, they went back to plastic. I imagine that the, uh, this method is a lot cheaper than all, that, all those cardboard ropes, I would think. But this is new. Um, but I am interested to see when they go back to the plastic packaging, does it just go back to the way it used to be? Uh, the form factor changed in the plastic free and that stinks because I have cases, little like, like pop protectors for my G.I. Joe inbox that the first however many, 60 or so, 
are in those little cases and they're pretty cheap on Amazon. Kent actually directed me those, thanks to Kent. I always like the art they put in those boxes. Those are cool. Um, so, I mean, this is just a, a, a pure repaint of the Viper, but I do like the crimson color. But G.I. Joe Classified, as tremendous as a line as this, and I still think it's the best, um, you know, like mass market retail, you know, kind of Walmart type of situation retail line uh, going. I think it's the best thing Hasbro's doing right now. I really do. I think they're making a lot of great strides uh, in this line. But they are at the point where, see, you know, this is figure 85. Snake Eyes is 92. There's a little bit of a gap, but they're pretty close to right at about 90. Uh, they're, you know, maybe 88. Because I think I have one through 77 uh, in the box lined up. And then I have a, a smattering between that and 100. Because uh, they release kind of inconsistently. But I think they are near the end. All right, so he's got a crimson type backpack. This is the, they had the regular Viper, they had the Viper three pack, and then just this Crimson Viper. I think that's all the Vipers they've released so far. That Alley Viper, but it's different than just a Viper Viper. I feel like there's another Viper coming. Python Patrol, oh, there is a Python Patrol Viper. Uh, maybe there's one more, I don't remember. Uh, backpack, I mean, it's the exact same set of this gun this gun, goggles, and scarf. The same thing that all the Vipers come with, but because I love the Vipers, you will actually go on the Joe display. I'll show you the Joe display here in just a second, or the Cobra display as the case may be. Um, I think I'm gonna let him have the scarf, and I'm gonna let him have the pistol. And I'll put the other things away. He could easily hold it all. He could have the goggles on, backpack on, the big gun. But I'm just going to let him. I, I'm trying not to just fully outfit them when I put them away these days. Uh, just have a, a few minor accessories. Not go quite so crazy. So, all right. Let me uh, get these guys. His head pops off real easy. Put the little, It's like kind of a purple scarf on him. But if you see what I mean, you can plug his, a holst his uh, pistol in his holster. He can hold all his accessories. They're getting a little bit away from that because uh, some of them, honestly, are just packed with a lot more accessories or they have larger accessories. But still, a great deal of G.I. Joe figures, um, classified series, they can hold all their accessories. And I think that's great. I really do. I don't have him with the pistol and then like he's uh, hearing something in his communicator or something like that. Look at me posing, fancy pants. All right, let me show you the Joe display. Let me show you. This is a current Joe, well, well, technically Cobra set up. Got the new Crimson Viper. That's a new range Viper from Walmart there in the front. Looks like one of my twins fell down a little bit. I'm using the stands now so that they don't fall. Got the Trouble Bubble there, that's an awesome figure. And you see the Cosmic will need that space, so. All right, we'll figure out what else we're gonna do in just a bit. It's now after the work day. I just made an announcement that dinner is ready. Let's see if she returns from her slumber. Dinner is ready. Food? No, not really. Oh. Look, there's the pumpkins again. It's a hedgehog. The hedgehog is for Rufus. Oh, oh. Do you want that? When did you leave? I didn't leave. I don't have a vehicle. Oh, right. Do you want that trident sour it's, um, watermelon gum? Sure. Do you want this crystal? What is it? You know, Crystal. You know what Crystal is. No, you don't need to know what Crystal is. Crystal, though, you can know what that is. What's Crystal? Open that thing up, find out. Let's see what it is. What is it? Oh, is this the pumpkin carving? A pumpkin carving kit. Oh. Ruth has heard me say that hedgehogs for him, huh? Do you like that kit? This is cool. It looks like sculpting. Stuff. Are you going to carve this pumpkin? Oh dear, the knives are sticking from the bottom. Oh, that's made sharp. Here, let's They're see if Rufus. Sharp, yeah. Rufus, do you want this hedgehog? Do you want this hedgehog? Do you want it? I do want carving. There you go. I would enjoy carving. He's going to play with his hedgehog over there. Ron Jeremy over there. So what you're gonna do what? I want to carve the pumpkin. You're gonna do it tonight? Should we wait till it's closer to Halloween? I mean, the pumpkin might go, I don't know. 
I don't think so. This can be the practice pumpkin, or you can get a second one. You can drink cider and sit on the porch and carve a pumpkin, you know, as one does. You're gonna watch a YouTube video? Can I stab you? No, you don't need to do anything till you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You stab a hole in it, you just waste the pumpkin. No, just like a little, little no. like a little love tap. No, there's no love tap. You gotta do it properly. Unless you're going to pay me back for it, then you can do whatever you want to do if it's your money that gets wasted. You think that my abstract art would be wasted? We ain't doing abstract art. We're probably making a pumpkin. Why do I need to watch a YouTube video on how to carve a pumpkin? You do need to? Why would I need to? Do you know how? Yes. Are you telling a lie? No, I've carved a pumpkin before. So that means you're an expert? Not an expert. I've spoke German before once. Does that mean I know how to speak German? Nope. When did you speak German? I don't know. When I looked up a word and spoke it. I mean, like, I'm a, a, I'm you like your hedgehog? Did office. you bring it? Where'd you leave the hedgehog? Where's it at, buddy? Oh, it's right there. He wants you to throw it. He wants you to throw it. Yeah, throw the hedgehog. Well, that wasn't that wasn't a great throw. That's that wasn't exactly what I was looking for, Kaya. I would like for you to throw it kind of up in the air a little bit so I can catch it. You want me to throw the hedgehog? Like that. Oh, almost. Yeah, I'll get the hedgehog. Now it's under the chairs. Oh, no, Rufus. No free feet. There you go. All right, we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Yes. Yes. Feet. Yes. Kaya's going down. Down, down, down. Oh, I'm going Kaya's down. Kaya's going down. Sing it, Rufus. Mm -hmm. Down, down, down. Kaya's going down. Sing it, Rufus. Down, down, down. Oh, he's getting loose. He's getting loose. Sing that song. I know you know the words. Don't act like you don't know it. You're waiting for it to hit the hot, the hit the drums. Are you gonna be the inkling girl now that you know who she is? Yeah, there it is. Down, down, down. And the character that we play in Splatoon 3 isn't actually the Inkling girl. No. We're, okay, like, we're, uh, we're in, in Splatoon 3. The character you play as is an Octoling. Octoling, yeah, you have an amiibo of the Octoling. Different than the Inkling. That's true. And the most notable way to tell that. Is they turn into an octopus when they go in the paint? No, it's because. Why not? Inklings have like you know how all the characters have like eyeliner basically inklings have the the little like don't call be right me like, it's kind of like a mask or it goes like over their eyes and it connects in the middle kind of like like, like a mask yeah and the octolings just have it around their eyes but it doesn't connect in the middle the inklings have it connected what about that they turn to octopus no comment oh Rufus, I'm gonna whip Kaya and smash. She doesn't want any of King D D D D D D D D D. Although he's probably not unlocked, which will be problematic. I have almost all the characters unlocked. Well, that's because you like fixate on something and do it all at once. Dip. <laughs> Kirby wins. Look at Sheik just. That was real quick. That was a domination. That's what you get. Talking that trash. Look, three to zero. 20 seconds, three to zero. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? I didn't realize you were doing sudden. The big whip. Kai, do you like fighting Ness? Fighting Ness? Yeah. Uh, not necessarily. How you doing over there? Unlocking characters. Look, we have food. We yeah. got this. We, have, we got Uber Eats. Oh, huh? Oh, it's the pink box, you know. It's the pink box. Mmm, got some of that. We got some pizza. Wow. That's an interesting... Maybe. It's possible. I don't own the... Oh. Oh, <laughs> baby. Baby. In classic mode. Then... Look. Oh. Bruschetta margarita flatbread. Thanks. With balsamic vinaigrette. Does that look good? Yes, it looks amazing. Thank you. What's this? Pizza. It's pizza. This? You want to open that and see what's going on in there? The 
double chocolate cookie. Oh, there's stuff on the hand. Chocolate mint, I think, maybe. Caramel apple and oatmeal pie. How does that make you feel? I'm really excited. Are you gonna eat none of those and just eat like the tomatoes? I no? really hope you can see the side. So it's been date day for Kai and I. <laughs> Looks like the lady must have had to slam on the brakes from Uber Eats because everything went forward. But the cookies are, it doesn't matter. It still good, tastes good in the mouth. That's later, we have to eat our food first. We can get that. We're allowed to eat cookies when we unlock King DDD. When I unlock King DDD? Yeah, then we can go to cookies. Okay. But let's eat first. What do you think, Bubba? We're wrapping this video up. I don't, you're not carving a pumpkin tonight, are you? That'll be in the next episode, you think? Probably. All right. So we'll wrap this thing up. We'll see where we get in Smash. Who have we unlocked so far? So far. King K. Rule. Um, yes. Uh, well, you were gone. Captain Falcon. I'm trying to think before I left. I, I just walked the dog. Oh, before you left. Yeah. So Captain Falcon. No clue before you. Uh, the Ryu. Ryu from Street Fighter and King K. Rule. Mm -hmm. And then who have you unlocked since I've been gone? I unlocked Ganon. In the pantry. They, I don't know anybody's ever seen the pantry in Life of the Dub. That's the pantry. No admittance except on party business. We have a nice walk-in pantry. We have... You've unlocked Ganon? I unlocked Ganon, yeah. Okay. Who else? I unlocked Ganon. I unlocked Sonic. Sonic, Rufus? Um, he thinks he's going to get some pepperoni. He's, and I've he's really right. I've more, but I can't remember. All right. But yeah, after Ganon, I unlocked Sonic. Sonic is really good. Every single one of these in classic mode, you, uh, there's a King automatic DDD. encounter, which is a lot faster than doing just classic mode over and over again, because I did like five rounds in classic mode and had like, no see, this is the smash I'm used to where there's a bunch of people like the computer. Is that what you're playing? That's classic. Yeah. Well, buddy, you just put your balls on my foot. Huh? All right. We're going to eat. We're going to enjoy when we get to the cookies. Um, well, when she's fighting King DDD. Turn that on, which technically could be impossible. Like it could be the last of thirty random encounters. Yeah, to, could be a while. But you want them cookies, right? Yeah. Which cookie are you excited for? Double dark chocolate. All of the above, personally. I tried to get four you would like. Thank you. No, nope, no, nope, nope, we can just split all of them because they all sound. I might good. be wrong about this because I have bad memory, but I think I, I have never had crumble cookies before. They're really good. They're really, so if, if people have never had crumble, crumble is a really emerging brand, but. If you get them at the store, Rufus, you pooed it. I smell it. You pooed it on my foot. Um, the ones that are hot, they'll warm up there. The ones that are cold, they'll chill there. So it's almost like right on the tap. And they have like milk on the tap. How's that thing? Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. All right. Good times. I should get. I'm ready for King DDD. We want to eat cookies. I should get King DDD if I'm remembering this correctly. After this boss battle. You're fighting this hat thing? Yes, Marks. Marks? So if you beat Marks, it's King DDD, and that means we get to eat cookies? I think. If you're wrong, are you going to touch your nose and touch your ears at the same time? Maybe. Oh. I don't know what's happening right now. Man. Rufus is, he's out. He had a hot dog. He's taking a nap. Rufus, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, King DDD. Well, that's a tad bit Do you like Marks? Yeah. You see for the sun. Look at that stretching. Look at that stretching. Big and strong, huh, buddy? Gotta get loose. This little I don't know guy where he's scares going. me. Marks? Yeah. Are you gonna dress as him for Halloween? For your Halloween party? Party. Party? I know you said you were trying to go to Halloween party, do a little Halloween get together uh, type of situation. I, you I, know, a high school situation. You know, a little a Halloween oh, right. party. In, oh my gosh! What is Rufus, you pooed. You keep crop dusting me, man. You got gas. Oh my, Rufus, do you think we're gonna see King DDD? It scares me. Where's your hedgehog? Did you win? Mm-hmm. So is it gonna be King DDD? If I'm Let's see. Correctly. Who's. What is GSP? GSP. There's your hedgehog. Um, yeah. Nice work, it says. Is it King Diddy? Rufus got a hedgehog. You mean to throw it? Oh, you got credits. Did you beat the game? Oh, oh. Were you Rosalina? Yeah. Was that your favorite character? Okay. 
All right, here you go, buddy. There it is. Good cat. It's gonna be a really long clip. Where's King DDD? Come on! It is! What if it's a man with a barrel? <laughs> there we go. Oh. You better not lose to King DDD. Oh my God. I don't, don't you lose. The cookies are on the line. Cookies are on the line. Cookies! Is that just a pool of water? What are you doing, buddy? It's a pretty fountain. It's a pretty fountain. Would you like to wrestle King DDD in there? Um, in your, in your, in your uh, homecoming dress? My homecoming dress. Yeah. You would be like Rosalina. I would fight anybody in my homecoming dress. Oh. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty fountain. You got to beat him. Knock him out! Get him out of there! Hang on! There's cookies! Die! Yes! DDD cookies. Hey, 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 cookie time! Cookie time! Oh, time to need a good stretch. wrap this video up with crumble cookies. That's peanut butter crunch or Should something. Should I get a knife? That looks like a Chex. Like Does peanut butter Chex like on top. I can't tell if that's salt though or not. Well, I think it's sugar. Sugar. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What do you do that for? I was gonna see. If Which one are you gonna eat? Uh, which one should I try first? Oh, oh. you got caramel apple, chocolate overload, peanut butter, oh milk pie. I want to try chocolate overload. Do it. Do it. Should I just cut off a little bit? Yeah, cut it in half. Whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. Just so do it up. We're gonna wind it down, Rufus. This is the end of the video. It's just a single day, Kai and I hanging out, having a good time. We're gonna eat cookies and. Keep playing Smash Brothers till it's time to go to sleep. You just make yourself a little cookie wedge. First crumble. First crumble. It's a big day. Oh, wow. How does it make you feel? Really good. It makes you feel really good. Are you excited for all these cookies? Well, should anybody else order crumble? Mm -hmm. What should they do with it when they order it? Probably not squeeze it because I get their hands dirty, but um, oh dear. what about with milk out of the udder? I mean, that don't you got to what? How do you get the milk out of the udder? How to milk an udder? Yeah, how do you get it out? What do you got to do to the udder? You have to grab it firmly. <laughs> oh boy, and squeeze.